Welcome back to episode 3 of the solo series, I hope you have an amazing day, in today's video we get into countless raids including an underwater raid on a pocket where we get some insane loot, also we get into loads of pvp, do loads of trading with people to gain even more loot, make huge upgrades to our unraidable location and much much more. Let's see if we can smash 1100 likes on the video, also 80% of the audience that do watch my videos are not subscribed so make sure you smash that subscribe button. So starting this video off on centre I decided to scout a base that I tried to Maywing dive last video and it had gotten a lot more fatter so I decided to bring over a fob and try to raid it if not do loads of damage to the base. Very quickly my server GB7X Arc is actually wiping this Wednesday on the 27th. We feature 15x rates and loads of other stats and features you guys will love and enjoy. We have integrated loads of new things this wipe to keep our players enjoying the servers as our number one priority is to supply you guys with the best playing experience possible. So with that being said I hope to see each and every one of you guys play on Wednesday and I really look forward to it. Make sure you go join the Discord top link in the description if you haven't already. There we go, and then I put bed here for when I'm gonna transfer over with all my stuff. Then we can get on to raiding this. I just need to get a day on quick because I'm gonna have to soak quite a few times, and it's gonna need a day on. I'm just need to grab some polymer because I've got zero polymer, and I just died that the app thing. So yeah, I came over to the snow on center and decided to tame a Daedon as I would need that to heal my Stego when soaking. So I'm going to do that right now. Where's... There we go, I've got you. Uh, Daedon. I don't know, they, they're always a tame that just are so annoying to tame. May, uh, not May Wings. Um, Daedons. Please don't say it for me or three. There we go. Uh, 25 grabs. Probably don't need all of that. Gonna throw out my imprinted stego for the mate boost. Because mate boost is gonna be actually kind of... Yeah. Right, he's, he's on. He is online. Do I continue this? I don't see why not. Like, I've got a fob down. It's not like I don't have a fob, you know? If I didn't have a fob, then I'd be, oh yeah, we're not doing this, but... At least I have a fob, I can leave another one. I'm not, I'm literally gonna waste some print flak right now. The stegos, yeah. So this guy turned his turrets off that were on the turret box in front of me, but he was definitely just gonna turn them back on as soon as I tried to rush the turrets. Oh! He actually hit me off. No. He's gonna see spin again. Oh! As you just saw there, my Stego is actually holding up very, very well considering how many turrets I was soaking there. Bro, you know what? How much damage you do? Literally not doing much, bro. Bro, you know what I do? Why oh, should you do that? Go for it, bro. That would just go like this again. Some of your turrets are already soaked. So yeah, that was just gonna keep on happening. I'd throw my Stego out, soak a few turrets, and then it would just seize spin me straight off the edge. So I needed to think of a way to try to stop this from happening. So they must have thought they was cool or something because they put a spike wall and a foundation down. Uh, nothing that a bit of C4 can't blow. So yeah, I'm going to blow this up and then start soaking again. Bro, it's so cringe, man. You know what, I'm just gonna YOLO this Stego into this base. Let's see how this one goes. Not gonna be able to do nothing, bro. I'm resending it. Right, I went a bit too deep here. Yeah, I went a bit too deep, I'm not gonna lie. Um. <laughs> I went way too deep. You know what? I'm not even gonna waste this stego. I'm just gonna pack up because 
honestly i'm just here and wasting resources and i need to get grinding because i've literally got zero resources at my base so the most sensible thing to do here as much as i want to raid this is to pack up and go because yeah i'm not really gonna be able to do this my imprinted stego is dead i didn't even level it so i got myself to blame for that one but yeah i don't have i don't even have a weapon to pvp with that's how underprepared i am for this uh so next time i come back i'm gonna need to actually be prepared these guys will probably have heavies by the time i come next I'm not gonna lie um but that's all good i mean we didn't lose much we didn't lose that like, anything really except from a stego and the couple sets of flak and rockets so yeah the first resource on my list to farm was some polymer i normally do go to the aberration poly trench thing but i decided to come over to the crystallized bk for once and trust me there's a lot of people here let's hope we can get the poly and get out alive when you don't have a uh thingy i mean that guy died wonder how he died there's definitely definitely people that have pvp in here let me get him outside so I can fight him. Rather than... Oh, he's here. Guy with rocket launcher. Oh man. Just got a kit, basically. So many people here. Beehive is contested. I, I risked my shotgun because I had another shotgun. Yeah, so there's not even a problem there. I then was scouting around Crystal Wilds and I found someone built in the underwater pocket in the ice. So I decided to come over here with a stego and see if I could stego rush this base because it was still auto turrets. Let's see how it goes. I don't actually know how many heavies there are. Probably gonna. Oh, didn't autos. Honestly, be alright. Well, that's annoying because my grapple didn't really work. I shouldn't have rushed it, I really shouldn't have. I had so much time there, and I just rushed it like an idiot when I could have probably just soaked. Oh. So I came back with another stego, and I was going to do the exact same thing, but this time I was actually just going to soak the turrets, because I didn't feel like they had a lot of bullets inside. We never block it anymore. I could probably soak this. What? Well, right, surely they should be shooting me right now. Which one? They should be shooting me. Yes. Yes, I think I soaked it. I think I, I think I soaked it. I think I have. That's now down. That's my kit. Nice. I need a cryo for this stego because I was in. Is it taking oxy? Yeah, it is. I need, a I need to get a magisterium. Why is he playing on catwalk? I don't know, bro. Stupid. There we go. I thought I was. What? Oh, it's still got no one. 9c4, I'm just gonna loot whilst I wait for the record. This could actually be good for it. I don't know why I've just took a big axe. I'll take this flat. Are you recording this series? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um. Alright. Uh, fabricator. A PT egg in a fabricator. Come on now. There we go. 
not much. Fabricator, oh my god. Gunpowder, know what I'm LB in that. I need everything in that. Refrigerator, Daedon, Dragon. <laughs> I was I thought that was a Noglin there. I was like, what? Oh, I wish they crafted Med Bruce. Med Bruce would have been so good. Pen Bench. <gasps> what? Trix, auto turrets, stego saddle, more bullets. Bro, this is profit. I know I I made a bomb mistake and lost the stego, but I, I shouldn't have lost the stego to this. But this loot is pretty good, and he's logged out now. So I'm just gonna blow that, and I'm also gonna blow this. Uh, seven hundred and eight metal. He's sleeping in here. I don't have much on him. So all in all, that raid was extremely profitable. No one needed to come over to center to tame a woolly rhino for one reason and one reason only, and that is to get berries, because I literally had zero berries to raise my stegos with. 130 rhino, I'll take that. First rhino I see. I've not tamed a rhino for what, like years? I'm not even gonna lie. It's been years since I've tamed one of these. Most have to boost in your server, man. Yeah, I'm gonna boost these. Alright, my... That's the worst run I've seen. One with seven k HP, like an insane rhino. Probably the worst rhino I've ever tamed. Look at them stats, absolutely shocking. But I'm literally only here to get like loads of tinto berry. And everyone knows the spot where you come for insane berries, and that's obviously in the ocean on Genesis One. Ah, right, look at this, bro. Look at <laughs> you ready? You ready to see this rhino get like a stocked up of berries? Not streaming. Right. Ready for this. Oh, you're on Gemon, it's over. I actually love Gemon so much. Bro, the slot caps are very. Is, uh, I look at this. I just need ten toes. <laughs> Insane berries. Berry farm, bro. Look at that. Sheesh. So the main reason why I did do that berry run is to get loads of Tinto berries because on this server it's custom craft for med brews and I can literally get hundreds upon hundreds of med brews through that berry run. And now I'm about to do a trade for one of my insane stegos and I'm getting a lot of stuff for this as you're going to see now. Fair play, just drop the heavies, don't. Fair play, bro. GG's. Let's go. Good trade, my friend. 10 heavies, 10k paste for a good stego. Th that stego is actually going to come in clutch, bro. I'm not even going to lie. So at this point, I put in trading about the stegos that I had and I wanted to trade for loads of different stuff. And this trade was supposed to be for 6 pre-craft cap shotguns so I could do obviously the center boss fight and stuff like that. And yeah, let's hope I don't get scammed here because that's a big side of trading, you could get scammed. Oh ladies. So as you can see here, this guy was acting pretty sus as soon as I went to trade with him. Oh, oh my god. Uh, oh uh, my god, I knew something I knew that was gonna happen, like yikes. Which one was that? That was Scourge. There it is. <laughs> they haven't been found. Perfect. Let's see how many med brews I do have now. I have over a thousand in that one. 1,300 and 1,300 again. That's crazy. 1,400 that time. One uh, berry run has got me that many med brews. Med brews are probably one of the best things in PvP, like, thing that you need. Because if you don't have med brews and you're versing a guy with, like, a good shotgun, literally that one tap. So, I'm glad I got med brews. I just need to get flat ble uh, blueprint somehow. Uh, so, yeah. Shouldn't be too difficult, but again. Happy with all them med bros, gonna take them back because that's absolutely huge. So I needed a bunch of cemented paste, so the best way I thought I could do this is by trading one of my stegos and I can get a lot of cemented paste for one. Hello, my friend.
There you go. There we go, another trade, 26,000 cement and paste, just like that. Uh, I won't be running out of cement and paste anytime soon, that's for sure. I then came back over to Lost Islands as I wanted to get loads more May Wings, and this is probably the best map to get them on. And I also got into loads of PvP whilst I was over here too. Things gonna get knocked out, bro. It must be like low level. Kid's dead. Let me give this kid something. Alright then. He's got a May Wings head on. I need your May Wings head on, bro. Yeah, you, you, you. Oh my god. So yeah, I did actually chase after this guy, but eventually I did lose him, so I didn't end up killing him and seeing what loot he had. But yeah, we got what we came for, and that was amazing. So on that note, sadly, that is going to be the end of today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have made it as far into the video, make sure you put G11 in the comments so I know you have made it as far, which honestly means more than anything. Anyway, guys, have an amazing rest of the day or night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you guys in the next video.